Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Now, it's almost 2 a.m., so I cannot talk too loudly, but a hacker in our Twitter spaces pointed me to this article, and it's really, really awesome because there has been a remote code execution vulnerability affecting Zimbra collection suite, an email server, basically. Now, I want to go through this with you guys together. The email servers was exploited without valid administrative credentials, unlike previously believed. Wow. The findings come from security researchers at Veloxity, who detailed them in an advisory published on Wednesday. While the RCE issue is tracked under CVE, was patched by Zimbra in March 2022, in July and early August 2022, Veloxity investigated several instances of victim organizations experiencing serious breaches to their ZCS email servers. Initial research into the vulnerability did not uncover any public exploit code, but since a patch had been available for several months, it was reasonable that exploit code could have been developed based on the description of the vulnerability. That is really freaking cool because I talk about this a lot when you see a CVE that doesn't have a proof of concept available or like very limited information on that, sometimes you can simply make your own based on the description of it. However, one thing that caught the security researchers' attention was that in addition to being remotely executable, the vulnerability description clearly stated that exploitation required valid administrator credentials. This added a significant level of difficulty for an attacker to successfully compromise a ZCS instance and made mass exploitation unlikely. Further investigation from Veloxity then showed signs of remote exploitation, but no evidence the attackers had the administrative rights needed to exploit it. And that's a big one because of course that makes mass exploitation Possible subsequent testing by Veloxity determined it was possible to bypass authentication when accessing the same endpoint used by CVE 2022-27925. Veloxity said this was meant that the flaw could be exploited without valid administrative credentials, thus making the vulnerability significantly more critical in severity. After disclosing the authentication bypass vulnerability, tracked CVE 2022-37042 to Zimbra, the company issued a patch for it at the end of July. Still, the Veloxity investigation suggested that the vulnerability was being mass exploited with the authentication bypass as early as the end of June 2022, and over a thousand ZCS instances around the world being backdoored and compromised. These ZCNs instances belong to a variety of global organizations, including government, departments, and ministries, military branches, worldwide businesses with billions of dollars of revenue, etc. That is a scary thought, my friends. If an email server of the government has been infiltrated, that will allow... I tell you, this cyber warfare is the future. It's not going to be fought on the battlefield anymore. It's going to be fought from behind the computer for a big part as well. It's already happening with drones, but we're already seeing nation-state attacks as well. Veloxity said that affected organizations also included a considerable number of small businesses unlikely to have dedicated IT staff to manage their mail server and therefore less prepared to effectively detect and remediate an incident. And even if IT departments are set up, often their security measures aren't set up so strictly that it's really easy to detect for them. Logging and monitoring and alerting is often a big problem in companies, especially small and medium-sized. In order to verify the presence of web shells on ZCS instances, Veloxity suggested companies compare the list of JSP files on Zimbra instances with those present by default in Zimbra installations. So you just do a fresh Zimbra installation, look at the JSP files and compare them. If there are more in your Zimbra installation, it might be worth investigating. The company's mail servers were also under the spotlight at the end of June when a flaw in RAR Labs on RAR utility was discovered that could be exploited to steal emails from individual Zimbra mail user accounts. Wow, seems like Zimbra has a lot of trouble and a lot of problems. So I hope you guys found this a little bit informative at least. 
I hope I gave you a little bit of an insight because we all know how damaging these attacks can be and especially remote code execution. These can go undetected for years potentially and if they've infiltrated into the military organizations, into the government, into billion dollar organizations, God knows what kind of damage they can do. Thank you very much for watching and listening to me, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a good evening, night, day, whatever you're starting. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.